said she said now going on involving Backstreet Boy Nick Carter. Uh, the story came out on Tuesday uh, that Melissa Schumann, now you may, may remember her from the uh, girl group Dream, uh, she says that back in 2002, she had a relationship with Nick, a professional relationship that uh, took an awful turn one night when he invited her uh, back to his apartment in Santa Monica. And she says, uh, and she was, I believe, 18 at the time, and he was 22 or 23, but she says uh, he raped her. He says that, there, she, that he forced her, uh, there was forcible oral sex, and then he took her into another room, uh, and that uh, he raped her at that point, even though she told him repeatedly that she did not want to have sex and that she was a virgin and was saving herself for her husband. And there, she got into very graphic detail about everything that happened. Nick was silent for about this for, uh, for well, not in, until Wednesday morning. And now he is saying that uh, his memory of everything that happened between them, and he acknowledges they had a relationship uh, that started professionally. They did a duet. Uh, but then he says, any time that we were together, I believe that everything we did was consensual. And he acknowledges they had sex. He says yes. consensual sex is his, is right. his position here. Right. Um, and again, this is the kind of the he said, she said, which is kind of the hallmark of a lot of these cases. And I say it's high stakes because, you know, the Backstreet Boys are still very popular. They have a residency in Las Vegas. And this is a, a very serious, obviously, accusation that Melissa has leveled. And Nick is saying that that's just not the way it happened. Now, especially considering how graphic she was about what she claims Nick right. did. Yeah, you guys, as serious as the story is and as high stakes that is, as it is, I was kind of surprised how slowly it trickled into the news cycle. Like, it did not get picked up as widely yesterday as it was today when he came out with his denial. So I kind of found that a little troubling. I don't know if, if that's a moot point at this point, but it was a little weird to me. I think people are realizing that, yes, people can make allegations, but before you republish it, you probably want to look into it. And I know that for us, we reached out to Nick several times before we posted the story because we did want to get his side of this uh, and we got it this morning. Well, one person that definitely believes Melissa is Nick Carter's ex-girlfriend, Kaya Jones. You guys remember her? She was in the Pussycat Dolls and actually during the time that she was in the group, she was dating Nick at the time. She posted on her Twitter kind of just reacting to this and she's like, wow, now it all makes sense. She said that she actually told Nick at the time that she had been uh, sexually harassed, but he did nothing about it. And she's like, now it all makes sense why at the time he didn't seem to care. Kind so of she's accusing, uh, that sounds like she believes Melissa. Yeah, and she said it's really disgusting and shocking to hear, especially since he was a victim of abuse as well. Hi, Tiffany Benway. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I mean, there's two sides to every story, I guess, but it doesn't matter whether you're a celebrity or not. Rape is never okay. Um, coming out like this, you have to wonder if, you know, what the reason is. Is she suing for money or is she suing for justice? But either way, rape's never acceptable. Um, and I really hope it is for justice if it is true. She's well, not suing. She's not suing and she is not. Yeah. In fact, she says that when it happened, she told her manager and she wanted to report it uh, and that she wanted to file a lawsuit uh, but was told that you would, one, be ruining your career, uh, and two, you couldn't go up against uh, the kind of legal power that uh, Nick Carter would have.